Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, helping good old Nathan Stapleton out with the M&M's Truck Series. We are here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Chick-fil-A 200, and 40 truck drivers are here to run a 20 lap race over this one and a half mile speedway in Hampton, Georgia. And it should be a good one here today for the second race of the M&M's Truck Series. Let's go ahead and get these guys to roll off in the interest of time. This has to be under, under 15 minutes. Of course, you guys already saw the starting lineup there at the beginning of the video, so you know where you're all going to be starting for this one. But uh, I'll go over the top 10 so I can get the names in my head, because most of these names are not names that regularly race on my channel. Uh, but anyways, Bruno De Barros in the number 8 starts on the pole alongside him is Reagan Whitlock. Now Whitlock is one of the few guys in this series uh, that regularly races on my channel. Row number 2 we have ourselves the number 81 of Eli Stapleton and that is the number 18 of Michael Anderson. Row number 3 that is I believe the 63 of TJ Hanley. And alongside him I believe that's the 71 of Griffin Lynn. Number 88 there is Gavin Moore. And the number two is Tristan Allen, another one of those guys who regularly races on my channel. Number 23, that is Tyson Aquino. And then the number one of Samet Ozkin in the number one rounds out the top 10 here for the Chick-fil-A 200 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Pace truck's gonna pull off. Now we're ready to get this 20 lap race started here in the M&M's Truck Series. 40 truck drivers come, but only one is going to be the winner here in the Chick-fil-A 200. Pace car, pace truck has pulled off. I'm ready to get this one started. We're racing here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And they are side by side, taking in the turn number one. The number eight will most likely have the advantage because the inside lane is the place to be here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. That is where the leaders will eventually, or where the leaders um, are before they take the lead. Because the outside lane does not get a good run here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And the inside lane, the shorter way around, gets the run every single lap. Bruno De Barros in the number eight is going to lead lap number one here in the Chick-fil-A 200. And already three wide, TJ Hanley with an aggressive move in the number 63 to the inside of the 81 and the 8 for the lead. And the number 63 is going to take it on lap 2 of 20 here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Number 23 of Tyson Aquino right behind him. And then got Julius Anderson in the number 51 behind the 23. But TJ Hanley in the number 63 is going to lead lap number two here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Now, it may only be a 20-lap race, but there will be pit stops in this one, and that will definitely shake up the field when we get to them. Number 51, Julius Anderson taking the lead away from the 23. J.T. Hanley in the number 68 behind him. And then we got the number 86 of Ty Lyman. Not Tyler Lyman. A different Lyman. A Ty Lyman in the number 86 on the inside lane. Then it's a 21 top dragster, the guy who did the first race in this series on the inside lane, moving his way up. Number 51, Julius Anderson is going to lead lap number three here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. We hit the pace truck. Number 86, that is Ty Lyman up the third position. Number 21 moving his way up, top, uh, top dragster. He's going to take fourth away from the 88 and the 23. Number 18 of Michael Anderson. I don't know if he's related to Julius Anderson. He might be. He might not be. There's a lot of Andersons in the field. But he's going to take fifth away. Here comes J.T. Hanley in the number 68. Looking to the inside. And the 51 just blew up. Julius Anderson with a major issue. And right in the middle of the field, he blew his engine We'll see if this causes any issue. There's somebody there on the outside scraping the wall. That's the 49 of Amy Ashley. And they're four wide. That is definitely not a good thing. It's a tough break for Julius Anderson. Not entirely sure what happened to him there, but it uh, looks like his day is going to be done in the number 51. We'd like to mention number 22, Rebecca Tyler, won the first race of the season at Daytona. And, of course, because of the interest in time, really didn't get to that at the beginning. But uh, now you know. And it's a two-car, or should I say two-truck, breakaway lead here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway between the number 68 and the inverse number 86. That is uh, J.T. Hanley. I almost said T.J. Hanley. It's the same name, only in reverse, so it's a little hard 
please forgive me. But it's JT Hanley leading the field ahead of Ty Lyman in the number 60 or number 86. And number 86 is going to get to the inside of the 68 and take the lead on lap 7 of 20. And this definitely affected the rest of the field. And we may only have about six guys who have a chance of winning this thing. Tristan Allen, one of those guys, in the number two, one of the most experienced drivers in the field. Number 18, Michael Anderson. Number 23, Tyson Aquino. And it's number 88, Gavin Moore, running in the third position. I mean, for me, a lot of these names are really new. I, I don't know who most of these people are. And, you know, if they win, that's like their first ever win. Of course, this isn't technically on Napa Fan, but still, that's pretty cool. You know, first ever win. How about that? Of course, it wouldn't be his first ever win if it was Tristan Allen. He's won like 10 times on my channel. And one time at the Atlanta Motor Speedway came in the Turkey Hill Series. So he knows how to get it done here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Ty Lyman leading the field. J.T. Hanley looking to the inside. And uh, we got a battle here for third that's closing in to the lead. Gavin Moore to the inside of Tristan Allen taking away the third position. Michael Anderson in the 18 to the inside of the number 23 of Tyson Aquino. And leading this big pack behind him is the number 66 of Henry Williams. And that's one of William Brock's drivers. So William Brock, also another guy uh, who regularly races on my channel. Got the 05 here of Robert Ionescu. And he is leading the pack along with Williams back in here, but these guys might not necessarily have a shot. Now they are in a big pack, so they may be going a little bit faster than these six guys who pulled away, but uh, it doesn't look like they're doing that. And with them going side by side and all that, and these guys going single file, it's gonna be hard for them to catch up. Now remember, we do have pit stops in this race, and that will definitely be a factor into who wins it here in the Chick-fil-A 200. There goes the 88, Gavin Moore. He caught up to Ty Lyman and J.T. Hanley, and there he goes with help from Tristan Allen to take the lead halfway through the race here at Atlanta. Lap 11 of 20, currently being led by the 88, but here comes the number two, Tristan Allen, to the inside of the 88 of Gavin Moore. And the number two of Tristan Allen is gonna lead lap number 11 here in the Chick-fil-A 200. Michael Anderson, J.T. Hanley, Tyler Aquino, or Tyson Aquino, excuse me there. And the number 86 of Ty Lyman, the six trucks in this lead pack. And the second pack is not closing in at the moment. The 66 of Henry Williams still leads it. And there's a pretty good chance that this could result in a big crash back in here with them going three wide and whatnot. And uh, especially with these guys coming down the pit lane, sometimes they can't figure that out correctly. Tristan Allen came down, and I believe it was the 88 behind him. We'll see how this looks. No, it was the 18 of Michael Anderson who came down with him. The 21 of Top Dragster is in. I believe that's the 36 of Alexander Rowe. And there's TJ Hanley in the number 63 down the pit lane. But we're going to follow with Tristan Allen and see where he comes out in relation to everybody else. Looks like a little bit of strategy there from the 19 of Tyler Lyman. They're running side by side off the pit lane there for, I believe, what will be third, maybe fourth place off the pit lane. And you see the rest of the guys coming down. We'll see how they are affected by all of this. Tristan Allen has come off of the pit lane. But the rest of these guys are in JT Hanley. Tyson Aquino. A couple of those guys in that lead pack are in. So is the 88 of Gavin Moore. And they're going to come off the pit lane. Gavin Moore, the first guy off of the guys who came in. A lap after the guys who came in the first time. We're going to go ahead, follow with the number two of Tristan Allen, who came off of the pit lane first, the first time around. If we can get to him. There he is in the number two. We'll see where he falls in in relation to everybody else. And it looks like he might not get the lead. Gavin Moore in the number 88. It looks like he's going to have enough space in between him and the two to take the lead. Tyson Aquino with a great run in the number 23 in today's race, but Tristan Allen's on the outside of him taking second. If these two guys work together, they may be able to close in on the number 88 of Gavin Moore. 
but it's just going to come down to how it all plays out in the draft. And it's very possible that these two guys can close in on the 88, especially if this group help, uh, catches up to them and helps them. Number 66, Henry Williams joining these guys here. Number 21 of Top Dragster in the mix. Number 18 of Michael Anderson. That is JT Hanley and the 86 of Ty Lyman, all still part of this one here at Atlanta. But it's only five laps to go in the Chick-fil-A 200. Number 88 continues to lead. Number two, number 23, closing in fast, Tristan Allen and Tyson Aquino. But they're gonna go side by side for a second. No, the 23 is gonna peek back behind the number two. And he is definitely gonna help that two of Tristan Allen. And I believe that these guys back in here are also gonna have a shot at victory here today in the Chick-fil-A 200. Number two looking to the inside of the 88. Tristan Allen to the inside of Gavin Moore. He's gonna be able to do it entering turn number one with four laps to go. But since there isn't as much of a draft, the outside lane might be able to work a little bit better now. They're side by side down the back stretch for the lead on lap 17 of 20 here in the M&M's Truck Series, Chick-fil-A 200. Tristan Allen in the number two, taking it away from the number 88. And we have now three laps to go in this race. And look who's coming. Top dragster, Michael Anderson, Ty Lyman, JT Hanley, and Henry Williams are all gonna be part of this lead battle at the end of this one. Tristan Allen continues to lead here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. It looks like we're going to have a caution-free race here in the Chick-fil-A 200, which is a very, very good thing. And it looks like the only guy that's going to fail to finish is going to be the number 51 of Julius Anderson, who blew an engine kind of midway through the race. Tough break for Anderson, but uh, it's possible another Anderson can win here today. Number 18 still part of this one. Same with Henry Williams, and everybody in this lead pack still has a shot at victory in this one. Number 21 of Top Dragster almost had a run to the inside of Tyson Aquino, but Aquino got the run on the outside and the 23 remains in third place. Will he push Gavin Moore to the lead on the final lap of this one? Tristan Allen is gonna lead it at the white flag. They're gonna go three wide for the lead on the final lap in the Chick-fil-A 200. Tyson Aquino trying to get to the inside of Gavin Moore and Tristan Allen. He has JT Hanley right behind him looking to strike and steal this one here at Atlanta. But the 23, Tyson Aquino currently leads the field and we're three wide here in this lead pack. Will the 68 of JT Hanley get to the inside of the 23? No, he won't. Tyson Aquino will win the Chick-fil-A 200 here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And a great run for the number 23 GMS racing machine of Tyson Aquino, who grabs his first career victory in the M&M's Truck Series. And there are the official standings for this one. Tyson Aquino, J.T. Hanley, top dragster, Michael Anderson, and Ty Lyman, the top five. Henry Williams, Gavin Moore, Tristan Allen was leading at the light flag. And he fell back to eighth position. Luke Ryan and Robert Ionescu Round out the top 10 for this one. Pulsitor Bruno De Barros finished 28th, our last winner here in the M&M's Truck Series. Rebecca Tyler finished in 33rd position. There are the rest of the official standings. I'm assuming that Nathan Stapleton's going to be in control of the point standings for this series, but if not, whole official standings was shown in this video, so, you know, it should, it should be pretty easy to figure out because it's all there. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to Nathan Stapleton. And if you're not subscribed to me, okay, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be trying to advertise my channel. That's wrong. That's just wrong. Please subscribe to Nathan Stapleton now. Great kid, and uh, love doing this. It was a great race, and Tyson Aquino gets the victory here at Atlanta. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.